carried away. There's a thing that gig, I remember, it was Edgar Winter playing, and it's a brother of Johnny Winter. And Edgar had a massive hit at the time called Frankenstein. And Johnny came up to me and he said, Hey Ray, what's happening? And I said, Your brother. <laughs> so I can remember. Anyway, I'll just read. So I'll just get this out of the way really quickly so we can talk about Julian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Americana. It started as a flickering black and white image through an old movie projector. Faces of cowboys and Indians, superheroes, the good guys victorious over the emissaries of evil. My early visions of America came from the cinema and the sort of of A and B movies with cowboys like Randolph Scott, a very Ken Walk, John Wayne, Clint Walker, and Tom Mix, Saturday morning pictures. Even the science fiction of Flash Gordon and his weird mix of futurism and camp medieval costumes epitomized American culture to me. Then there were the guns, deliverers of truth, justice, and the American way. Then as I grew up, the music took over. Rock, jazz, skiffle, and blues, and country songs came to liberate me in North London, growing up in post war London, austere 1950s. The music gave me hope and a reason to be, a feeling that I, as a human being, could express myself as a human being. Then there were the cowboys in those old black and white movies seemed to have value. Well, they the cowboys in those old black and white movies seemed to have values. He knew who the good guys were, they were big white hats. And there was a code of honor that I thought was missing from the modern world, even then. Then as I toured America with my band, the Kings, I saw the place firsthand and up close. Chewing gum, right? I saw it from the dreary bus stop in the middle of nowhere to the big gigs at the Hollywood Bowl and Madison Square Garden. The kings experienced the highs and the lows, but through it all, we retained our individuality. At the height of our success in the 1960s, the kings were banned from touring the USA for four years. When we did return, we toured the USA relentlessly. And I sang, and I sang, and our oath was no one could fuck with us, but they did very often. <laughs> and it's all told in Latin America. 